And now to a story you'll see only on Five, a big concert in Central Point tonight. NBC Five's Laura Cavanaugh joining us now with more. Laura. Oh, that's right, Dan. It was a thrilling night. We just got back from the Jackson County Expo and the Lithium Motors Amphitheater. Now the Rogue Valley rocked out to a hairband heavyweight tonight at the Jackson County Fair. Rocker Brett Michaels is known for different things to different generations. But one thing I learned tonight in an exclusive interview, he is a survivor. A passionate and energetic crowd packing the Lithium Motors Amphitheater Wednesday night. Fans swooning for Poison frontman Brett Michaels. He's hot, sexy, perfect. I love him because he gave me a reason to believe, something to believe in. Some adoring fans worshiping the blonde locks and tattoos, singing along to the classics. Fun and jacket. Every rose has a thorn. But beyond selling out arenas, younger fans have grown to love Michaels as a reality star. He drove VH1's ratings looking for love with his tour bus in his TV series Rock of Love. We caught up with Michaels, who is on a whirlwind tour on the East Coast, but made a special stop right here in Oregon. The schedule for me right now is insane because I'm out with Poison and Def Leppard and we're on the East Coast, right? We just did Montreal, rocked down to Chicago, flew here. I literally got here about an hour before this. Any other chance for a dating show, Rock of Love style? Yes, here's what's happening. We, a uh, couple crazy things are going on. There's this whole, um, I won't go into a big thing, there's this whole American Idol thing that's happening right now and they've sort of come out there and, and you know, threw this out uh, at me. Um, we don't know what's happening with that yet. Um, I definitely love to do Apprentice though, for sure. And, uh, but the, uh, the Rock of Love 4, we're thinking of doing Rock of Love Boat. It's a Fantasy Island-esque, kind of weird. We don't know what's gonna happen, we'll see. You're hired. <laughs> Michaels was the underdog who came from behind to win NBC's Celebrity Apprentice. When I went in there, you know, everyone says when you go on to a show like that, it's such, it's such a big risk. But for me, it was such, the, the thought of going in there as a lifelong diabetic, I'm just saying, I go in there and I'm fighting. Everyone talks about what a big risk, you know, Brett, they say, you know, you're doing Rock of Love, number one show, why do you want to go do something where you could possibly be booted? And they thought I was going to be the weak link, but I know you don't last 25 years in rock and roll. And if you're passionate about what you do, I went in there on Apprentice and I just use creativity. I don't throw people under the bus. The entrepreneur's tenacity shined through during the taping of the show when he suffered a life-threatening brain hemorrhage and had to have heart surgery. I knew when it happened I was dying. Luckily I was around great doctors. But the rocker pulled through and wowed the Donald on his final task, his winnings benefiting the American Diabetes Association. When I got done and we won Apprentice, it was almost a complete $1 million. Michaels, who is a lifelong diabetic, partnered with the organization in 2010, acting as spokesman and sponsor. I know diabetes is one of the leading causes of death, and, and I want to show these young kids that they can live a great life. And speaking of a great life, the 50-year-old has been making time count. The animal lover has launched a line of clothing for canines with PetSmart called Pets Rock. As a rocker, reality star, businessman, and philanthropist, Michael says it's his fans that keep him going. What keeps me going is it, it's just, I, I'd like tonight, if you see the show on stage, that energy and that passion and, and three generations of great fans. And as Southern Oregon bid farewell to the iconic rocker, we couldn't let him leave without uttering his signature catchphrase. Laura, will you stay here and continue to rock my life? Laura, hi, hi NBC <laughs> Live News. Beth, thank you. Love you. Thank you. <laughs>